can find a virtuous woman, for her price is far above rubies. She is blessed and praised. Hey guys, welcome back to Twist and Shout. I am Shar, and today I have another flip through for you. Now, a little backstory about this particular Bible. This Bible was actually purchased a while ago, and I don't think I have, no, I don't have information here. But this was about 2012, 2011, between 2011 and 2013, 14. It's somewhere around the time. As a matter of fact, I'll make it a little more simpler. I believe between 2012 and 2014 is about around the time I got this particular Bible. This was... Um, on the tip of the end of college where I was about to graduate and I saw it and I said, you know what? I want something creative. I want something beautiful. And a long time I used to think something was wrong with me because the standard Bible just did not, I, I did not gravitate towards it. Nothing about it made me want to pick it up. This is just an example of one. This is one that was gifted to me for a graduation of high school. And y'all, I literally only went in this Bible about four or five times. Like, there's no highlighting, no writing. I didn't do anything in this Bible because it was so bland and just not me. So when I saw this one in person, I said, I want that one. And they actually had two. They had this butterfly one and then they have a tan flower one, just plain flowers with blue. I got that one as well, but I have since given that to my sister. But this, these colors and everything inspire me so much. So I even got these tabs to kind of, you know, spread the color even more but i'm gonna show you guys a flip through many of you see my flip through of this one this is a niv pocket size bible you've seen this one and i might show this again at the end because um the camera was not at a great angle i think this one is a little better so but Main focus is this one. This one is an actual journal Bible, the NIV Holy Bible Journal Edition for girls. I gravitate towards the girl Bible, the teen Bible, because they are more colorful and creative, even more so than women's. Like women's are elegant and cute and sophisticated, but that's never been me. Like I've always been fun. And this is a great way to be creative. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and let you see in here. I'm not going to talk you guys head off. This is the Old Testament page, and this is just like my intro because this is colored. Not saying I may not ever do anything with this, but I like absolute plain surfaces, so this was good for me. This Genesis. Did a little bit of that actually last night, so try to show you guys so you can see. Got stickers. I'm real big on coordination, so you'll see if I can. If I'm doing like pink highlighting, I do pink color in the pen. That's always been me. I always want to color coordinate just to, because it looks well. And if I'm writing more than one thing, I can always say, okay, this writing is in correspondence to this highlighting. And as you can see, I need to dig back into the Old Testament while reading this one, because I've read the Old Testament I just did so in the other Bible. And I just started back, you know, heavily reading and writing notes, picking this up. And again, it's like something about this particular Bible that inspires me, as you can see, to, you know, go deeper, just go in a little bit more and read and make the pages come alive. So I just want to show you guys. And this is all done, like the stickering and stuff has all been done within the past two weeks. So I've been reading and inspired. I took a little break um, in my journaling and things, but I seen Cat Woods um, YouTube and I joined her group and I'm inspired all over again. So, and me and my daughter's actually doing this. So to God be the glory. Like if you find a way to intrigue the children, by all means do so. And these stickers, stickers, I'm sorry, came from Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree, Family Dollar. Um, a whole array of different places and locations wherever there's sticker check the aisle because you never know what you can use and don't just get stuck on oh they have to be christian stickers or christian based that is not the case um you 
are putting them within your Bible. So you're replacing them. So whatever meaning you intend for them to be, then you do so. Now, I did tell my daughter that I do not believe in putting a lot of like fairies and things that obviously are not of God or things that make things like guys that are not actually real. So the unicorns and stuff, you know, we try to stay clear away of that for the most part, but definitely like things that have power like genies and stuff. I don't believe in putting those type of stickers in the Bible, but hopefully I'm not doing too, going too fast for you guys. Like I said, I just started um about two weeks ago and this is what i have so far and a lot of it is just like i said i went from being afraid and thinking okay something's wrong with me but this is a way where i don't have to do too much i can just write in a color and then coordinate with the matching highlighter but now it's a whole new ball game and i'm so ready and excited to just let my creativity be unleashed and do what I want to do and there's different levels like some people draw some people color some people paint whatever you are creative with whatever floats your boat for me I can draw I can draw a little bit but I actually want a bible dedicated to drawing only so I'm going to purchase one in the near future for just drawing my own drawings and writing and stuff without any pictures. Which is another reason why I like this one a whole lot. And a lot of the girl ones was because it just had the blank pages and not the all extra stuff. But they are now making more and more plain just lines and no pictures. Because some of us just want to, we want to do our own canvas. Like we want to start things from the scratch. And again, hopefully I'm not going too fast. This is Romans. And whatever page you see me on, I obviously read that page. And all the pages that I actually journal completely with stickers is because I actually read the entire page or chapter. So that's a way for me to identify, okay, this page has been conquered. I read it and I'm happy about it. I actually read this one too, so I can actually do this one today probably reread it that's something i always do too if i'm unsure if it's been a while i'll just reread it and again with my pens and my highlighters walmart dollar store walmart now has the pastel coloring highlighters which is awesome because they're so much better than the standard orange red i just did this one last night so hopefully you guys can see so completely inspired Hopefully I'm inspiring someone also to just dive in, read and make notes. A lot of people do their prayers. That's another good thing I thought about doing, which I kind of catered this one to praying. I, you know, whatever I put in here or note or I just write prayers all over because it's small. And I am the type that I keep my prayers nice and simple. I will just write, Lord, help me to be safe. Lord, help me to be wise. I get straight to the point. I'm not the type to drag out. Lord, protect my children. That's me. And the Bible actually speaks about that. Like, don't be like the ones in the synagogue or in the temple trying to pray all loud with big words and stuff. Like, make whatever you're coming to God plain and simple. Don't do too much. All right. So that's pretty much it in this one. Like I said, I'm just starting. So uh, bear with me. I look forward to I'm trying to think, what did I do last night? Yeah, this is the one I did last night. This is the one the night before last. And then this was like a week ago. So this was about three days ago. So I'm, I'm actively in here. This was like last week. So, and again, these stickers, believe it or not, most of these came from the dollar store. Also, check in Walmart section in the crafts. They have Clarence. I actually got packs of stickers for 10 cents, and each pack had like 20 stickers. And be creative. Like, this came from a pack of the 10 cent sticker that was actually for graduation. And obviously, the things that says congrats class for 2020, I probably can't use many of those. But those that just have like diploma, I've, I've used that. Or, matter of fact, let me go to a page that I think I... Uh, this is Ecclesiastes, by the way. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Right here, I use a diploma just to um, show and highlight wisdom and knowledge. So be creative. 
be extremely creative. Let God use you. Use is like I said, stickers can be used to express yourself and to showcase things and to emphasize what the subject is about. So again, be creative. Let the Lord use you. If you want to find this Bible, just type in, um, like I said, NIV Holy Bible Journal Edition for Girls, and it should come up. This one is rare. You won't find many of these, so catch it while you can. The other one, the blue one, there are several of those. I actually seen those in Hobby Lobby now. I'm sorry, not Hobby Lobby, but in Ollie's now. I'm just going to show you a snippet of my journal too while we here. So this journal corresponds with that Bible. So purple, purple. And a lot of these journaling entries I did before I started back. So I try to keep it plain and simple. But when I started back, you know, I started trying to be a little creative. I was a little scared at first, as you can see. But then eventually it was like, come on, Shar, you can do better than that. And I did. And I've cut things off from a cereal box. Like, listen, anything that you can use, be creative. Let God use you. Pray and let God do the rest. So. Hopefully you guys saw something that was intriguing to you. Please don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys. God bless. Take care. Bye.